I think people have started talking about this paper. It's got quite an obscure title, so I think quite a lot of people missed it. You know, it's early in the academic year. We're all busy giving lectures. Some people may not have seen it yet, but it's already been highlighted in various journals saying, look, you should go and read this paper. And I think there will be quite a lot of discussion. The problem is that you can't test it. And usually, when scientists make predictions, the exciting part comes when somebody does experiments when they can test the prediction to see whether it's right or wrong. In this case, it's going to be very difficult to test. And I'm not sure that anybody has any idea how they're going to be able to do it. Why can't the people like those we met in Darmstadt just fire up their machine and make these bigger atoms? Well, in principle, that's what they would have to do. But already, we're struggling to make element 119 or element 120, and nobody succeeded yet. It's only a few months since we made element 117. But so going to 172 is more than halfway across the periodic table again. So it's possible somebody will suddenly discover a fantastic way of making things. And chemists should never say that something's impossible. But if I wanted to place my money on a bet where I was sure of making a profit, I don't think I would put it on the synthesis of element 172, at least not today.